Hey, so similar to what I did with my uh, Dune trailer reaction, I'm going to do here with the Craft Legacy trailer where I'm watching the original trailer and comparing it to the new trailer that just came out. So let's check this out. Uh, it's at 90s music. At St. Bernard Academy, they were the girls who did not belong. <sighs> Whatever you do, stay away from them. Why? They're witches. But after years of being on the outside... Skeet Ulrich. Why'd you lie about me? I don't want to go out with you again. Please, stop begging. It's pathetic. I do still like this movie. It's such a good movie. So much fun. Dark side. I mean, it's not a great movie, but it's a lot of fun. Oh! God. We can make things happen. I mean, this is it. This is real. This music was so uh, like this. This was the kind of music you saw in every '90s movie, of course. Pictures welcomes you to the witching hour. I love that that the special effects were very subtle and uh, subdued. They were not. They were not over the top. They were just... The, the, the movie was more about the, the characters. Yeah. We are the weirdos, Mister. We are the weirdos. Yeah, something I always said to people: I am the, uh, I'm the weird one. <laughs> Used to always thank people for calling me weird. All right, so let's see how this one plays out. feels fast mm. but it's nice isn't it to have a family unit come on in to meet the boys Shh. they're really excited to meet you okay i don't know what time frame this is supposed to be school? she's literally walking around with a polaroid this. camera i know why the caged bird sings oh, wow man. that is super nasty oh, my God. <laughs> all right enough settle down Made us all cry at one point or another. You should come over after school. Okay, so we still we still have the the guy basically humiliating the girl in front this? of everybody. This is a ceremony to celebrate you. Why would you celebrate me? Because you're our fourth. Just in time for first period. Okay. Half the battle of having powers is believing you do. That's why covens have always been important. Um, let's. If we can do that, what else can we do? We need to put us back on team. We don't want to hurt him, though, right? So we got a lot of the same things from the first trailer. It's a person is a danger to herself or others. They just okay. They've got to just throw it in the top. For a bock. I was starting to get a little worried. I thought I was just hanging out with my friends. Oh, we've gone it's too just, far. Yeah. Was this just like some game to you? Oh, yeah. I feel different. Be careful. A lot of weirdos out here. We are the weirdos, mister. Uh, they had to just they they just had to completely rip off that line just because mm. that was painful okay um oh god that was um yeah, uh, that was kind of difficult to watch, uh, to be honest. I don't really know where to begin. The, um, 
the trailer is really kind of um, all over the place. Uh, I, I kind of I didn't really know what they were going for. I didn't know if they were doing a reboot or, uh, uh, or if they were doing a follow-up. Of course, later you see her with the picture of uh, Furzabok's character from the original, so this looks like it's a follow-up, like it takes place later. How far later, I don't know. It's really kind of weird that the character is holding a, a, a Polaroid camera in the beginning. Uh, what looks like that. So it's like, what, is this person just uh, fascinated by retro technology? I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what they do with that. But there, it's, it's kind of, it, it looks like it's a little bit forced how they are almost shot for shot recreating things from the original film in this one. The light is a st feather stiff as a board thing. The... The fact that they just completely had to close the trailer out with a word-for-word -word recreation of the end of the of the original trailer, you know, the, with the "We Are the Weirdos" line, it just oh my god! This is a this is a classic example of Hollywood not knowing how to be original. Um, when you do a remake, when you do a reboot, or even in the case of a follow-up sequel, whatever you want to call it, this is not the way to do it. This is not the formula that you use. It it works in certain cases, like obviously the Back to the Future films, you know, the sequels were cookie-cutter copies of the original. But there was a reason for that, because it was time travel, and of course, you know, you, you could argue that they, that there is a reason for the fact that the, the timelines in the movies are similar like that. But even then, they still did something different and unique and original. This just feels like they're trying to copy the original film with just bigger, better special effects, bigger, you know, flashier lights, flashier, you know, uh, Oh, God, it's just, it's painful. It's just ridiculous to think. It's like, these, these people get paid money for this. They pay... <laughs> Somebody paid money for this movie to be made. Uh, and then people, and of course, people are going to pay money to go see it. I mean, the the one thing, the one thing that, I, that looks like it, it is doing, you know, right to some degree is uh, exploring the idea of uh, the Divine Feminine, which is, you know, one of the uh, core things that we see a lot in, you know, Wiccan and Pagan witchcraft, etc. Uh, so it seems to me like they're doing that, you know, at least right. If you, if you, know, what you're, if you know what's going on there, you can, you can spot this and you can see that little element in there. At least that's what I see. I mean, I don't know if anybody out there uh, saw that and thinks the same thing, or if they think they saw something different, please leave me a comment uh, down below. But, so that's one thing I'll give them. They, they have, they've at least got the balls to go that route and take that, because that's actually, that's actually kind of a risky move, um, if you ask me. But still, plot-wise, this does not look like it's going to be much different than the original film. I mean, even to the point of having the male character bullying the, you know, the new girl. Uh, and then eventually, of course, she probably casts a love spell on him to make him fall in love with her, just like, uh, like you know, uh, Robin Tooney did in, uh, with Skeet Ulrich in the original film. And I gotta wonder if one of the characters has a burn. I gotta wonder if there's a racist thing against the one black girl. And I gotta wonder if the punk girl that's replaced Feruza Box character is from the poor side of town. I mean, it's so ridiculous how movies feel like that just, they can just copy and paste the the first, the, the original screenplay and do it over again. Maybe just change the year a little bit, change the ages and the names of characters and places and be just as good as the original. And the ridiculous amount of gall that they probably have and arrogance to think that they might even have something better than the original because let's face it if you're not gonna do something as good or better then why the hell are you doing it in the first place it's oh god so 
needless to say, I'm not looking forward to this movie coming out at all. Uh, just based on the just based on the strength of this trailer, I'll probably see it if I can get a hold of it for free, like on demand or something like that. But this is this is not going to be a movie that you will find me going to the theater to watch. Um, yeah. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when I get new videos up. Uh, I'm still doing my art school videos and uh, got some ideas for some actual like movie reviews coming out later on uh, in the future. And you never know what other kind of content I might come up with later on. So uh, if you have any suggestions or anything like that, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Thanks for watching.